Hello, my name is Gareth Evans and welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. Today I'm doing a bit of guitar maintenance and we're going to um, change the saddle on my guitar because it's worn. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to change or adjust um, the saddle on your guitar. But I'm going to take you through the process here. And the saddle is this white bit here. It's the bit that your strings um, rest on between uh, the saddle and the neck or the nut of the guitar right at the very end. Okay, so um, this saddle I've got here, let me just, all I've done so far, by the way, is to take all my strings off. It's easy just to take all your strings off. There's another way you could do it. You could, if you don't want to change your strings at the same time, you could cap out the neck of your guitar and um, oh, down tune your strings so they're, they're loose, basically. Put a cap on this part of your guitar to hold everything in place on this side, and then you can take the pegs out and, um, you know, do what you need to do on this end. And after you've finished, um, peg your strings back in uh, after you've done the bridge but that's the other way to do it if you're not changing your strings what I'm going to do now is just use some pliers and pull this out and be very careful um, it should be very tightly lodged in um, because it's a it's a pretty snug fit and um, it shouldn't be glued in it should be wedged like this and if you've got a new guitar um, sometimes what the manufacturers do is they put like a little wedge or piece of paper or something underneath the um, saddle here just to prop it up um, so the strings are really high above the um, the neck of the guitar so first thing you want to do if you're buying especially um, a cheap like factory made um, guitar is take the strings off and check underneath the, you know, especially if your action is really high on your guitar and you want to lower it, you're going to have to do this process anyway, but just check underneath the bridge, uh, the saddle, sorry, that there's no, no kind of uh, spacer in there. You want to take that out and put the, um, put the saddle back. But anyway, I'll just show you the reason why I'm changing mine. Like I said, the other reason would be if you want to adjust the action on your guitar, but I'll take you through the steps that you would do if you were adjusting the action as well. If you look at this, this is a plastic, there's two, two different types that I'm aware of. There are plastic saddles and there are um, the bone saddles and, other, um, and probably other different types as well. But you can see all the grooves that my strings have worn into this plastic. Um, saddle here and obviously the more of a groove that it wears in the lower and lower the string gets um, so th there was a point where you know my third string was lower on on the surface or closer to the fretboard than my other strings which which wasn't really good so I've invested in a, a, a bone um, saddle and these are better um, for a couple of reasons they should last longer and it should um, sound better too so it's kind of an upgrade really and you'll notice I bought one uh, things to, to note when you're buying a new saddle if you want to upgrade or replace or whatever is if you use an acoustic guitar you want a compensated one which means you've got this little groove here um, for the um, the lower strings to make it um, you know to compensate for the fact you know the strings basically um, so the other thing to, to note is the length of it now I can't actually show you here on the ruler but I I measured mine when I when I went to buy one and mine ended up being like 72 millimeters um, I think there are two main um, length 72 76 mine's 72 so I bought a 72 and it fits um, the width this way is usually three mil and that means it really fits in snugly um, I think that's that's generally the case the three mil wide and um, 72 mil across now the, the height of them is what determines the action on your guitar how high the action is this is at its peak uh, 10 mil or nine and a half um, and this the one I'm replacing is a it's eight mil Okay, so if I put this straight in now, that means that my action is going to be higher than it was when I had the plastic one in, if I fit that in snugly. So uh, what am I going to do to compensate for that? Take, get some sandpaper or a sanding block like I've got here and just sand the underneath of it, okay? You don't want to sand the top, it's the worst thing you can do. Sand the underneath of it. Make, you got, make sure you've got something that's... Um, like an even surface so that when you're sanding you're not putting too much pressure on one side and sanding it uneven so it's like you've got an angle on it you want to keep it as level as you can so I'm going to go through that process now I'll probably skip forward in the in the video uh, until I've finished this is the process you want to go to if you're not just if you're not replacing your saddle and you want to lower the action in your guitar um, then this is what you would do you would sand the bottom the bottom part of your of your saddle. Now I won't go into detail about the action of your guitar and what 
what is ideal for doing because that's another video entirely. I'm just showing you the process of that I'm going through replacing my um, my saddle. Um, this is part of it, okay? So eventually I'm gonna end up with these two saddles being the same height and then I'm gonna put it in, put my strings back on, okay? So I'm gonna go through that process now, probably skip forward in the, in the video just to save some boredom and um, I'll move back in a second. So that's it. I line these up on the table, basically put them down flat with next to each other and they look pretty um, pretty even now. So I'm pretty happy with um, the size of this before I put it in now. So one thing to note is that, um, like I mentioned earlier about the comp compensated like part in it here, the little jig in it, make sure that that's where your lower strings are, the first and second strings, okay, when you're putting it in. So the way I'm holding my guitar now, these two notches are at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just um, ruin my guitar. No, <clears throat> I'm just going to push it in gently as I can. Um, I push it down as hard as I can without trying to hurt myself for my guitar. And then um, it'll be done. If I can get this in. So once that's in place, once I push that in, I'll probably sand it down a little bit more uh, on the edges just to try and get that to fit in a bit better. Um, but once that's done, I'll just put my guitar strings back on and then uh, jobs are good. In. So that's it for this lesson. Uh, any questions about the process I've gone through here, um, feel free to drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.